This is the Coconut TV Show, sharing all of our action from our adventures in Penticton, British Columbia. Coming up in this episode... We explore British Columbia's craft beer revolution at Penticton's annual festival. We find out how beer is made with our friends at Tin Whistle, the Cannery Brewing Company, and the boys from Bad Tattoo Brewing. We also try to find the secret behind the Holy Smoke Stout at Fire Hall Brewing. So, who do you think I should interview? Interview beer experts. And how do I know who's a beer expert? Look for people with a beard and a flat cap. A beard and a flat cap? Yep, dead giveaway. Can you tell me what makes a dark beer colorful? It comes from the different types of roasted malts. Like in our Killer Bee, when we make that with a chocolate and a black malt, it gives it heavy, dark colors with chocolate and coffee overtones to the flavors. Opposed to something like our Coyote Blonde Ale, which has only a pale malt in it, and therefore it is a very golden color. Why do we put hops in beer? Hops are added to beer for lots of different reasons. In an all-natural beer like ours, hops are the only preservative, and so beers are heavily hopped to preserve them over time. Hops are also added for aroma. The beautiful nose you get on an India Pale Ale comes from the hops that are added at the end. Hops are added for flavor all the way through, and hops are certainly added for bitter. Bittering is part of uh, what hops bring to all beers, and so some beers have more than others. India Pale Ales have a lot more hop, Milder beers like lagers have a little bit less. The other hops that we use are hops that we use to brew with. Hops that are basically like this, that are pulverized into hops that look like this. So the pellets are added and uh, dispersed quite quickly in the hot uh, liquid. What was going on with your hair? And so there's only four ingredients in all natural beers like ours. Malt of barley is usually the first one. Two row pale, you can have a, a chew of one of those, you'll be amazed at how sweet the insides are. We say we grind the grain, but we don't really, we just crack it to get at the inside greatness. But then all of the other malted barleys that we use bring different characteristics to the beer. This one, for example, is a medium crystal. You can tell that it's a different color and a quite a different, yes please, quite a different flavor profile. It's got a little bit more caramel to its, uh, its, uh, its flavoring and brings a totally different color component to, uh, to the beers that we're putting it in. Some of the uh, malted barleys uh, are great for head retention. Some give you a really good mouth feel. Many give you color as well. This one is a chocolate malt. You can see how incredibly different in color it is. Will be a little bit more bitter. We would use less of this, but it brings the dark beers like our uh, Blackberry Porter and our Naramata Nut Brown Ale, their characteristic color and their flavor. We buy yeast according to the characteristics we want that yeast to bring to the beers that we're making. So if we were buying lager yeast, they would be lower fermenting uh, yeast that work on the bottom of the tank and give lagers their characteristic uh, flavor profile, but also their characteristic finish on, that's quite crisp. Ale yeast would uh, ferment on the top of the, uh, of the, the fermentation vessel and uh, they give a totally different uh, characteristic. So this is a, a bin of uh, the spent grain, just uh, the same as what you saw Chuck taking out of the, uh, of, of the mash tun. You can see from looking at this, what I was talking about earlier, that we don't uh, grind the grain, we just crack it. We want to keep these outside husks intact so that we don't get some of their really uh, astringent uh, flavors to go into the, uh, into the liquid wort. So brewing starts off at the mashing process, which is where we mix the grains with water, and it happens in this vessel right here. It's called a mash tun. We uh, mix in the water with the grains in here at certain temperatures. And then after that, we transfer it into the lard tun. The lard tun is where we separate the grains from the sugary water, which is wort. Wort is a precursor to beer. And the wort will go through the grain, and the grain becomes kind of like a natural filter. Then we transfer uh, from the lard tun into the cow, and in the cow is where we boil the, the wort, and it's where we do the hop additions. The longer you boil a hop for, the more bitterness you get from it. Once we go through the heat exchanger, we come to one of the fermenters here. That's where we do uh, add the yeast to. Uh, it stays in the fermenter for how, however long it takes to ferment. 
Usually it's anywhere between five days to two weeks, depending on the beer. If uh, it's a lager, it takes longer because they ferment at a lower temperature. One of the byproducts of fermentation is carbon dioxide, and it can kind of smell, it smells like beer. What's the difference between your lager and your ale? Well, the main difference between any lager and ale is the yeast that you use for uh, making the beer. Lagers, the yeast will ferment at much lower temperatures, anywhere between 12 to 14 degrees. You can maybe go up to 15 or 16. And ales are use a yeast that ferments at a higher temperature, anywhere between 17 degrees to 22 degrees. What type of bottles do you put your beer into at Bad Tattoo? 650 millimeter bombers. Recently, and I think we're the only ones in Canada that offer it, these six packs right here, which is uh, 355 millimeter aluminum bottles. They're lightweight and they're recyclable too. How do you get the smoky flavor in the seriously smoked stout? How do you get the smoky flavor? How do you get the smoky flavor in the holy smoke stout? You. How do you get the smoky flavor in the holy smoke stout? This. How do you get the smoky flavor in the holy smoke stout? Well, once upon a time, every beer in the world was smoky. That's the only way that you could dry barley was with a fire. And there's some places like in Germany where they never stopped doing it. So they dry the barley with the fire and it adds a smoky flavor to it. And we use that malt in our recipe. I'm not totally convinced by this guy. But what was on his face? A beard? And what was on his head? A flat cap. What's hops? Hops. Hops is what they make in Ireland. Make uh, our spirit out of it, like Guinness. Thank you for watching. Keep your eyes open for the next episode of the Coconut TV Show and enjoy the summer.